how do you deal with long shipping times when you do drop shipping? Because doesn't it take four to eight weeks to ship and arrive to customers? Won't they get angry? This is the exact question that I am constantly getting asked and that's exactly what I'll address in today's video. So what do we want to understand in today's video? Our goal is to understand the delivery times in dropshipping and how to go ahead and manage your customers' expectations and customers' questions with the probability that the shipping time is gonna be long. Now, let's answer that first part. What is the reason for long shipping times? It is always on the end of the supply. It's, this is something that you cannot control. The reason for the long shipping times that are uncontrollable is due to situations such as lockdowns, travel restrictions, COVID, Chinese New Year, where China is just shut down and they can't ship anything out because no one's working. Christmas and holiday periods where the ports are just being jam-packed due to this crazy holiday season. Those are the, all the different reasons why shipping times might be much, much longer than usual. Now, how do you go ahead and avoid long shipping times? Well, one, you could go ahead and only select suppliers that offer e-packet shipping because that's gonna take your shipping time from six to eight weeks all the way down to like two to three weeks. That's a 50% to 70% decrease in shipping time. Two, you always wanna take into account the processing time. This is something people get tricked at. People only focus on the delivery time and they ignore the processing time. You wanna look for suppliers that have a processing time of under three days at most, three. This is also very important and people overlook this is you want to go ahead and look and read the reviews because when you go to the product most surprisingly when you go to the product and you click on the reviews and you go through all the reviews people actually tell you if the shipping time was fast people will say things such as this arrived much faster than expected wow this only took three weeks wow this only took two weeks whereas on a bad listing you might see things such as it took eight weeks but you know the product is pretty good or the shipping took really long but it was worth it. Uh, those are like good but bad because suppliers sometimes can remove bad reviews so you want to look for those good bad reviews because those are showing the hidden lies within that supplier. So if you see things like that where it's like shipping took long but it was worth it then shipping is long and you definitely want to go ahead and avoid that supplier. Another solution is if you have a winning product you can order the product bulk from your supplier and have it just shipped to a local warehouse and have your shipping times go from two to three weeks down to two to three days. Now you only want to do this if you know the product is a winner because there's a chance where if you order a thousand units at the time it gets to your warehouse after three or four weeks that the product just died out on Facebook ads and now you're stuck with a thousand units. Now how do you manage customers expectations and how do you help them deal with the long wait? Well one, promote products that people do not abruptly need. So you don't want to advertise some medicine that they need ASAP. You don't want to advertise something that people need urgently. You want to advertise things that people can wait for because it's such a good product. So let's say if you go ahead and sell a product that is not something that they essentially need at a particular moment, customers won't mind that the delivery time will be longer than expected. Two, you want to be straightforward about shipping times. Reflect the shipping times in your product description, in your shipping info page, and basically tell customers upfront about the shipping times. And guess what? If the product is a good and strong product, they're not gonna mind. Now, the trick is you can go ahead and blame the long shipping time due to things such as COVID, holiday season, Christmas, New Year. You put all the blame on that, so it makes sense to go, like, hey, you know, the business is, you know, every business has to deal with these issues, I'm more than happy to wait it out. That's what their response is gonna be if you basically directly and clearly tell them about the situation. Three, very important, you wanna have strong customer support. Reply to customers straight away. Reassure them, create a deep conversation with them. Have strong customer service that can really take an angry customer from like a 10 out of 10 angry down to like a four out of 10 angry. Four, this is something I mentioned before. Find local warehouses they can ship the product to. If a lot of your customers are from the US, ship the product to a local fulfillment center in the United States. 
So let's wrap this up. What's the conclusion? The delivery times play a pretty small impact on your e-commerce brand success. There's like things like Kickstarters where people are willing to wait four to five months for a product to be made. There's things like Etsy where people are willing to wait three to four weeks for their products to be made. So shipping time only plays a small impact in the world of e-commerce. You wanna be focusing on your customer service, value, and product. And if you have long shipping times, that's not gonna even matter. Delivery times should not be the reason for you to be hesitant about the dropshipping model. This should not be something that would stop you from getting started because there's tons of people succeeding in dropshipping. And you wanna look at the other business model, such as done for you. Etsy, Kickstarter, where people are willing to wait a long period of time. So don't let the long shipping time make you hesitant on starting, on getting started on your dream. Now let's go over some final tips. Delivery time is a good factor to consider when choosing the right supplier for you. Knowing your target audience will help you choose the supplier. Like let's say you're selling women's clothing and you just know that women from the age of 25 to 30 are much more angry, I see customers, then make sure that your shipping time is really, really good for that demographic. So let's do a recap. How do you avoid long shipping time? One, you always wanna go ahead and look if the supplier offers a packet. Two, you really wanna take note of the processing time. Three, you wanna be reading supplier reviews. Four, and you wanna sometimes, if the product is a winner, order the product in bulk from the supply and ship to your own fulfillment center. How do you help customers deal with the long wait? One, promote products that customers do not abruptly need right now, tomorrow. Two, be straightforward and honest with the long shipping times and blame it on something like COVID, holiday season. Give a reason to it, but tell them that it exists, that you're gonna have to wait for your shipping for your product to arrive. Three, you wanna have strong customer support very, very important. And four, like I mentioned before, find a local warehouse to ship your products to. Especially if you have a lot of customers in Europe, find a warehouse in Europe to ship your products to from China. And those are the reasons and tips on how to go ahead and deal with long shipping times within drop shipping. Hopefully you guys got value in today's video. Now what you're seeing here is just a small teaser of what we teach in our program. We teach literally everything with how to deal with long shipping times, faster suppliers, working with agents. And if you wanna go ahead and take your dropshipping business to the next level, book in a call with my e-commerce advisor and he'll basically build you a roadmap on how to get to success. Or you could go ahead and watch our free documentary where we go ahead and show you guys how we consistently get student results and people like you successful through dropshipping through using our proven blueprint. Check out that documentary below. Now let's go ahead and announce last video's winners for $1,000 worth of courses, a consulting course with me. The winner's here. If you guys want to qualify, all you have to do is drop a comment below, follow me on Instagram, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'll be picking the best comment every single video. Other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow with nothing but more value and straight up no BS, straight to the point content. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys had an amazing day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with nothing but more value. Peace.